The Doombeck and our Shiko drums, instruments of my African ancestors. Nice job, Lil D. Where'd you get your little monkey friend? Which monkey? This monkey? Oh, he's no friend. This monkey is trouble. I can see that. So who's gonna be next to show us instruments from their ancestral past? Sonny, are you aware that ancestral past is redundant? Appreciate it, Cam. What's that little itty bitty thing you got there? A Chinese harmonica. It's called a shang, and it isn't so itty bitty. Cool. From the Coco for Coco Clocks country of Switzerland, I will now demonstrate the Swiss Alp horn. <laughs> I think we're being invited. This is the Cora, from where my folks come from in Africa. Oh, you sound like a sick cat. Thank you. It's called Sick Cat in G minor. I think it's a lovely melody. Can we make it our song? Why not? Every time I see a cat throw up, I think of you. Oh, you just as sweet as honeysuckle. I am proud to say that I am a quarter Creek, three eighths Italian, five sixteenths Texarkanian, and one thirty second Glutonian. That makes me a purebred American mutt. Now here is some indigenous American music. Madison Spaghetti Papadopoulos speaking. Thank you, Madison. Thank you, Madison. you can sit down. You can sit down. Who is this? So what you got for us, Philly Phil? Well, since we're all children of the universe, I brought this boombox with music from. Outer space. <laughs> it's off the hinges. So it is. Where'd you get that? Like any other exciting Saturday night, I was scanning the sky, listening for signs of life, when I made a discovery. I think I hear something. Ow! And that's how I discovered music from space. It probably fell out of an airplane. Yeah, an airplane from space. You don't believe in little green men and made of creatures like that, do you? But what about this picture I took? Whoa! Oh. Wait, what does it say on the side here? Flying fun disc. Warning, not to be confused with a plane from outer space. But how do you explain this space rock I bought online? I bought one of them, too. We keep it on the front porch. <gasps> you know what that is, don't you? I know what it is, boy. Key to somebody front door. No, it's a key to Roswell. Who's Roswell? It's a top secret government installation where they take aliens and boil their brains. That's all, oh, man. man. Come on, man. Where stuff like that don't happen in real life? What do you think, Sonny? I think they've got a right to be skeptical. You're a man of science. You should know you have to have clear and undeniable proof if you want people to believe you. Then be at my house tomorrow at 1 o'clock, and I will launch myself into space to prove to you that aliens exist. I'll be there. I made you a freeze-dried lunch for your trip. Thanks, Mom. Now I'm off to Beaker's Bunsen's and beyond. Do you want me to get you anything? No, oh, I could use some hydrochloric acid. Oh, my, you just run right through that stuff. Okay, have a safe flight. Remember to take your red ant allergy medicine with you. Mom, I'm going to space in a 40-ton rocket full of flammable liquid oxygen. What could happen? All right, dear, you have fun in space. Mwah. Mom, don't embarrass me. My friends are going to be here any minute. Oh, I already let them in. <laughs> this is my room. Yeah, we figured that. It's so nerdy. I just want to punch the whole room. Oh, hi, Dad. Well, son, ready for the big liftoff into space o -rama? <laughs> That's outer space for you laymen and lay women. <laughs> Dad, stop being a nerd around my friends. They're going to think I'm not cool. Gonna? 
I'm about five seconds away from punching your whole house. Son, being a nerd nowadays is cool. The gadgets people need to get by are created by nerds. We are the brains of this nation, the engine of the economy. Now, if you'll excuse me, those plasma TVs aren't going to deliver themselves. <laughs> So, you guys can watch the launch here from Mission Control on one of our five high-definition plasma monitors. Or you can look out the window. Wow! Oh, goody! <laughs> Man, where you get that rocket? It fell off the back of a truck. The dang rocket's gone! Sarge is gonna kill us! At least this porcelain unicorn collection's still here. I also have a video camera attached to my helmet so you civilians can see all the aliens I encounter. Ooh, there's one now! No! Little V, while I'm gone, be sure to feed my robot fish. Roger that. Be careful, they take megabytes. <laughs> Ow! What was that? To make a punch me. But it was meant for you, Phil. If you see my mama and daddy on the International Space Station, say hi. A oh, sure thing, Eddie. <laughs> like that could happen. I can't afford to go to that part of space. Oxygen. <laughs> Check. Alien music. Check. Box of tasty snack cakes. Check. Initiating launch sequence. Yes. Ah. You know, guys, as we sit here only 20 feet away from a rocket filled with highly combustible fuel that could vaporize half the neighborhood, piloted by a 13-year-old, I'm starting to have second thoughts about it. Wow! Oh, yeah. He really did it! What else is on? Philly's log. Star date, uh, today. I now begin the long journey into deep space in search of intelligent life like me. Commence hypersleep. Isn't that our son Edward's nerdy friend? Well, whoever it is, he made me miss my pot. Fire the laser cannon. Log. Star date unknown. Location unknown. This is one small step for man, one giant leap for Billy Phil. Let's watch Triton Faces. No, let's watch Robot Bebop Funtime Ranger Intensity Display. No, let's watch the Porcelain Unicorn Collecting Channel. I mean, the Porcelain Unicorn Smashing Channel. Stop! That's the feed from Billy Phil's video camera. Billy Phil, can you hear us? What planet are you on? Does it have carbon-based life forms? Are there little green men? Are the apes talking? If so, that's Earth. I saw it in a movie once, Planet of the Something. Uh, I'm not sure where I am. My glasses broke and, and I can't see well. But I'm definitely not on Earth. Wherever I am, it appears to have air, sunlight, and <laughs> gravity. Oh, there appear to be signs of intelligent life. Perhaps a primitive sun clock from a culture long gone. What is that thing? Maybe it's a basketball hoop. That's stupid. Aliens are too short. I, Philip P. Phil, hereby claim this planet in the name of Earth. Sent in an alien presence inside my spacesuit. Oh, oh my gosh. Ah, being attacked by aliens! Ooh, 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 ooh. <gasps> oh no! Something's coming after Phil! What is it? I don't know, but I'm gonna pee. <gasps> they got Phil! What's gonna happen to him? The aliens are gonna boil his brains! That's what Philly Phil said we do to aliens. Exactly. It's payback time. Everybody chill. I know what to do. Pay? No. Let's go see Sonny. He know what to do. Too bad, because I already paid. Whew. 
You gotta hurry, Sonny. We don't know what they're doing to Phil. The aliens may be dissecting him. Oh, cooking him. A bald-headed little stupid brain. Well, if they are, they're doing it at the corner of Powder Spring Street and Windy Hill Road, because that's where he landed. <gasps> what planet is that on? It's Atlanta. The lost underwater planet? That is both intelligent and stupid at the same time. I think I've been to this part. It's actually in Roswell, just outside of Atlanta. Is that the Roswell where Philly Phil said they boil alien brains? No. So, Philly Phil isn't getting his brains boiled by aliens? No. So, I paid myself for nothing? No comment. Anyway, y'all thinking of a different Roswell, though nothing like that happened in Roswell, Georgia. What do we have on the creature that we found at the crash site? The subject seems to respond positively to cheeseburgers and cherry cola, though his indigenous food appears to be this biodegradable sponge with filling. How did he respond to the being hit in the face repeatedly with a basketball test? Oddly enough, not well. Ow! 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 Have you attempted to communicate? He seems to understand English, but we can't understand his language. Although we do think that means more snack cakes. Fascinating. But is there any chance that he's just a 13-year-old boy? No. We're doing a DNA test. But because of his bizarre look, weird language, and the fact that his metal helmet seems to be fused to his head, we have concluded that he's an extraterrestrial. I'm sure that's the place, but where the rocket? Somebody done hit him up for his rocket. See that? People will steal anything! You see what I'm talking about? Look, here's Phil's space rock. And the key's still in it. Shout it, this ain't no space rock. Ow, my eye! No, but it does mean Phil was here. <laughs> Who are y'all? We're from SUMA. What's that? Shut up and move along. That sound made up. These kids are sharp. We'll have to find a clever way to get them to tell us what they're doing here. I'm on it. What are you kids doing here? What you doing here? The boy turned the tables, what do we do? Better answer him. Look, we're not stupid. If you're expecting us to tell you that we're government agents who found a rocket with a creature in it who we took to our top secret government installation at the corner of Piedmont and Ellis. Northeast corner. Northeast corner of Piedmont and Ellis where we plan on boiling its brain? You are sadly mistaken. All right, so we just gonna shut up and move along then. Thanks for not telling us where our friend is. Hmm, perhaps I've said too much. I know what to do. You're probably wondering what this is, but we're not going to erase your memories with it. Run! Quick, unlock the car door. Who are you? We gotta save Philly Phil! I can't imagine what horrible things they're doing to him. He's been playing that game for hours. What dexterity. He must be able to control advanced alien weaponry. More? He's already gone through three stacks of those delicious cream-filled snack cakes. He's obviously not human and may even be invincible. There may be others like him. This could be a national emergency. What should we do? Brain Brain We need your help. Fit and feel in trouble. It's a dire situation. Then let's go to my dire situation room. What is this stuff? Oh, my bad. This is my sticky situation room. My dire situation room is being repainted. So, what's the situation? As you know, we have an interesting friend named Philly Phil. Next. He plays the bass guitar. Next. Yesterday at school. Next. After lunch, where well, we saw a funny looking stray dog. Next. And I gave him a piece of my bologna sandwich. Next. Can you just get to the situation, please? All right, speed ahead. It appears Philly Phil has been abducted by a secret government agency, and they plan on boiling his brain. Next. I drew that one. We tried to tell the police, but they didn't believe our story. Hmm. I wonder why. I know, right? So now we have to save them ourselves. So we developed a plan, and it involves you. It's dangerous, but fun. Go ahead, shoot. First, we all gotta dress up in black, because black just looks fresh. Second, I asked my daddy to let us use his fleet of Black Hawk helicopters. Third, and 
And most importantly, we need to get some fly little theme music in the background. Cue music. Next. And then we get ice cream. Sound like a five plan to me, but how much of it do you actually have worked out? I got a two for one coupon at Dr. McFudgy's Amazing Ice Cream Sloppatorium. All right, let's do it. So, Lil D, what are we up against? Them two G-men that ask a lot of questions. Do I know you? No. Abandoned warehouse. Are you sure we work here? Our ID badges specifically say, if found, please return to secret government installation at this address, no questions asked. But what about... It says no questions. You know what? I think plan A is gonna need a plan B. So here's the plan. See? Should we go in? You first. I don't remember how to use a door. Does that sound like what I think it sounds like? It sounds like a sick cat. Does that look like what I think it looks like? No path returning is worth this! And here's our chance. Let's move out. Where you think they're keeping them? This is a good bet. We're just trying to save you. He all hyped up. He get like this we didn't have too many delicious cream filled snack cakes. <laughs> Lieutenant, sup? Delivery man, delivery boy. <laughs> Good thing I know my military protocol. <clears throat> uh, may I interrupt you, sir? In a moment. All right, proceed. We got the results of the DNA test on that creature. And? I'm afraid it's nothing more than an extremely nerdy 13-year-old boy. Should we commence with the brain boil anyway? Nope. Just erase his memory with this thing. How do I use this? Just press this button here. Who are you? Y'all could have stopped playing by now. No, buddy. We made $30 while y'all was in there. Good. Well, I hope y'all learned a lesson from all this. Shouldn't we let Philly fill out of the bag first? All right. <laughs> Whoa! What the? Do that look like what I think it looked like? <laughs> Dang. Yeah, yeah, thanks, guys, but you don't have to humor me. I know the aliens don't exist, and there's no such thing as brain boiling, and apparently Roswell's just a place where they let you play video games and eat snack cakes all day. But aliens do exist. We just saw one. And its voice sounded just like your weird alien music. And it had a little space rock in it like your own. With a key inside. A key to his flying fun disc spaceship. <laughs> nice try. But I am a man of science. You have to have clear and undeniable proof if you want me to believe you. Well, if you need proof, then be at my house tomorrow at 1 o'clock, and I will launch myself into space to prove that aliens exist. I got a better idea. This changes everything. From now on, I will devote every waking minute to the search for intelligent life in outer space. Who wants ice cream? I do! Thank <laughs> you.